Hey, welcome everybody. It's Gibby here. And now listen to this. Then we talk, all right? Just listen to this. Narrator heading level one. Welcome to Narrator. This is Narrator Home, where you can get help, access your settings, and learn about new features. Narrator is a screen reader that describes aloud what's on your screen, so you can use that information to navigate your device. To start or stop Narrator, press the Windows logo key plus control plus enter. Explore the sections below to get started. I mean, this is really good. Okay. <laughs> I, I was feeling like a real human is talking. So this is called Microsoft's new natural voices and don't get too excited to get this feature right now it is a new feature in windows 11 but only if you use windows 11 dev builds okay if you're using dev builds you can get these voices to work on your system okay there are two voices added by microsoft into the windows 11 dev builds uh, okay but i'll show you the other way to use these voices i don't know why you want to listen to them maybe because they sound so real <laughs> but i'll show you you can actually use these or listen to these voices on any system yeah it's it's pretty cool uh now it's a you know settings narrator toggle switch on okay shut up exiting narrator okay so basically we have been using these type of voices on our windows system you have selected microsoft david as the default voice so you know these are like classic voices but now we have real real like human like sounding voices uh, which is like really amazing <laughs> okay so we have two voices right now added to the windows 11 dev builds one is jenny one is aria or aria okay <laughs> whatever but they sound so real okay this is not something new okay some people actually do know that how to use these voices the other way but now you know microsoft have added these to the windows system so you know whenever we want to use this feature we will have like real human talking feeling okay this sounds so good so that's that now i'm going to show you the other way if you just want to listen to them right now open the microsoft edge browser and open any website and uh, after that click on this you know let the website load and after that you need to click on enter immersive reader or you can press f9 okay you'll see book and a uh, speaker icon just click on that and after that just click on read aloud use immersive reader in microsoft edge <laughs> actually i forgot to change the voice okay voice options go there and from here oh no this isn't using the cloud voices actually for some reason i cannot use the natural voices inside virtual machine so let me get out from here and let me show you in windows 11 stable build okay I'm going to close out the virtual machine. I'm going to open the Microsoft Edge and then we have the Microsoft Edge. OK, so basically do the same thing. Enter immersive reader or press F9. Just click on that. And after that, click on read aloud. OK, I was doing some experiments. OK, <laughs> so in here, just go to voice options. OK, and after that, select the natural voices for any language actually there are multiple languages actually i found the jenny i'm gonna do that and read again microsoft edge immersive reader in microsoft edge simplifies a web page layout removes clutter and lets you customize your reading experience in windows 10 and windows 11. in this article we'll also introduce some amazing learning just listen to them they sound so real <laughs> Okay, so these voices are coming to the system, Windows 11 system, so we can, you know, use the narrator and, you know, that, that's, that's amazing. Okay, so this is not something new. People have been using these features from a long time, I think, these new natural voices, uh, if they use this immersive reader. Okay, so, yeah, 
I mean, they sound so good, like compared to these voices. Learning and accessibility tools in. <laughs> nah, nah, I don't want to listen to them. So let me try to find the Australian uh, voice. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> listen to this. They sound so good. In Microsoft Edge Immersive Reader, to help improve reading comprehension and enhance learning. Immersive Reader is designed to meet the needs of readers with, with dyslexia and dysgraphia or anyone who wants to make reading on their device easier. So this is Australian accent. <laughs> really like that. I don't know why. Okay, let's go with the, uh, I don't know, something difficult. Philippines. Let's try that. Is this English Philippine or language Philippine? Read in Microsoft Edge and select Enter Immersive Reader in the address bar or use the keyboard shortcut Siam. To exit Immersive Reader, click... Wow. <laughs> they actually sound so real. Uh, I'm having fun with this. Uh, they, they actually have a, um, you know, different language too. Not only English, they have different languages. Spanol. Uh, I mean, it's not, I mean, this, you know, article isn't in Spanish, but. Click exit immersive rear in the address bar or use a keyboard. <laughs> okay, let's not make fun of it. Come on. <laughs> so, you know, you got the idea here. Okay? So all these natural, 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 they will sound really natural. Okay. South, South Africa, how do they? So, I need English only because this web page is in English. Okay, we have Arabic, Chinese. Okay, <laughs> let's go Chinese. For more information, go to Enter Reading View with Immersive Reader in Microsoft Edge. Tip, if you... Right. Immersive Reader icon in the address bar, you can still view the text in Immersive Reader. Just select the text you want to read, right click, and select open an immersive reader from the Man, they sound so real with the real accent. I mean, yeah. That's what the natural means anyway. <laughs> and, uh, so guy, let's listen to the male voice. I haven't heard male voices actually. Meet the needs of readers with, with dyslexia and dysgraphia or anyone who wants to make reading on their device easier. Enter reading mode using immersive reader. To enter reading mode, go to the website you want to read in Microsoft Edge and select enter immersive reader in the address bar or use the keyboard shortcut F9. Wow, this sounds so real. Okay, I'm, my, my ears, my heads are hurting because I'm wearing these from very long time. So I'm going to put that away. But now, yeah, these are some natural voices that are coming to the, you know, system, Windows 11. So I'm really impressed. They sound so good, so real. So that's it. That was fun. So now you know the other way to use these voices and many voices, actually. Yeah, just to use Microsoft Edge. And uh, yeah, you can use all of those voices. And they sound damn good. And that's all I want to say. <laughs> that's it. I will put link in the description for the, uh, you know, Microsoft Edge official website. If you're using like um, Mac, Linux, then you can get Microsoft Edge for Mac OS and Linux too. And also for Windows, if you're using like Windows 7, you know, all that. So. Yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and everyone. Bye-bye.